Om Shanti. This is the Avyakt Murli of 16th of May, 1974. And the title is Qualifications of Amharati. At this time, does everyone have the desire to listen or to become the same? After listening, by merging everything, you become the same. And by merging everything, you automatically develop the power to face. With the power to face, you automatically attain the power to attain liberation from all desires. Do you experience yourselves to be liberated souls in this way? No type of bondage is pulling you towards itself, is it? Only those who are free from bondages can be yoke yoked. If the bondage of any sanskar, any person, or any material comfort pulls you towards itself, then you cannot be constantly pulled by Baba's remembrance. While a soul is under an external influence, it is said that that soul is under another influence. To be under another influence is a royal form of an evil spirit, the same as the five evil spirits. Just as when the evil spirit enters you, you forget your form, your nature, your duty, and your powers. In the same way, when you are under the influence of anything, this becomes your state. The one who gives the mantra that disciplines the mind, Vashikaran mantra, can never be under the influence of anything, Vashibhut. So now, check that you are not influenced by anything else. Nowadays, Bhav Dada remains busy in a special task. What is that task? In any task, the children are connected with the father. And so, do you not know about the program that is connected with you? When you go to say good morning, or have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with the father at Amrit Vela? Do you not have this experience? Or do you remain busier in taking from Baba? Do you receive any touching? The time for completion is now coming closer. In the completion, you have a vision of both those who are last so fast in front of you. Bab Dada sees the setting in fitting of each child every day. Some even try to set themselves, but because of not having the right fitting, they are not able to have a correct setting. You know what the fitting and setting is, do you not? To make yourself move along with the godly codes of conduct, and so these codes of conduct are the fitting. You set your stage on the basis of these codes of conduct. When Bhav Tata sees the Mahavirs and sets them in the Maharati seat of Maharatis, what state does he see them in? Because of not having a fitting of one or another code of conduct, you are not able to set yourself on the seat. One moment, you may be on the seat, and the next moment, you would be on one side. So Bhav Dada remains busy in this task. There are many visible in whom there is hope and the visible line is also very long. However, only some appear to be the form of proof. In order to become one in whom there is hope, what is the main effort? It is very easy effort but because of your own weaknesses, you make the easy things difficult. The easy effort to be one in whom there is hope is to fulfill every hope that Baba has for the children. Then you can become one for whom there is hope. Is it difficult for the children to fulfill Baba's hopes? A child takes birth to fulfill the hopes of the father. The aim of the child's life is to fulfill the father's hopes. 
This, in other words, is called Son Shows Father. So to become one in whom there is such hope is the main aim of your Brahman life. When Bhaktada himself becomes cooperative and increases your zeal and enthusiasm by a hundred thousand fold for your one step, why should it be difficult? Since you yourselves are those who finish all difficulties of the world, since you are those who make them experience the difficult things to be easy for such embodiments of experience, can anything be difficult? You cannot even think of this. It is okay for the infantry to think it is difficult. However, now you do not consider yourself to be any less than the others in any way. That is, in one way or another, you have to consider yourself to be a Maharati. Even those who have come last have the aim of going last so fast. And so they are Maharatis, are they not? In any aspect, you do not consider it to go beyond to make yourself bow down for anything in front of anyone or even to realize your own weaknesses. In order to make yourself well-known, you try to prove everything. So what would you call this? Do you consider yourself to be part of the infantry in one way or another or a Maharati? Those, why try to prove themselves? That is, those who are stubborn can never become well-known. Those who are stubborn in wanting to prove themselves Right can never be successful. Those who are to attain success keep themselves humble, gentle, and also pick up virtues from everyone. You keep the aim of becoming well-known, and yet your effort is of becoming distant. And so check yourself. You need to have subtle checking. For any Maharati to experience something to be difficult means he's not a Maharati. With his own cooperation and cooperation from the Father, a Maharati will make the difficulties of others very easy. Maharatis can never have questions in their thoughts. Why is this like this? Why is this like that? Instead of asking how, they will always say like this, because they are master knowledgeful and trikaldarshi. So check yourself in these aspects. How can I do this? How will this be possible? You should not have these questions either for yourself or for others. Only when your questions for both have finished, can you constantly remain satisfied, content, and cheerful? Now, do you understand what the qualifications of a Maharati are? They are no less in doing anything. When you come into connection with one another, you do not consider yourself to be any less than the other. Each one considers himself to be an authority and also to have a right. Now claim the right to understand this and also to do it. Only then will you claim a right to the praise of this godly family in the world. Everyone will automatically praise your kingdom. Do not become beggars who ask for something in any aspect. Become the bestowers. Do not have any desire of asking for name, regard, praise, or seniority. When you beg for something, then just as for the beggars of today, no one gives anything. But instead, chase them away. In the same way, souls who beg for something in a royal way automatically distance themselves from all souls. Such Maharatis cannot set themselves on their seat. This is why you are all Maharatis. 
the time of the cavalry and the infantry has now gone. Now each Maharati has to keep the qualifications of being a Maharati in front of himself and include these into himself. Acha, to those who merge all their desires, to those who are the authority of all powers, the same as the Father, to those who are constantly merged in the love of one, who are stable in a constant stage, and who have one faith and one support, who are constantly stable in solitude, introverted, and are the stars of Bab Dada's hopes. To such souls, Bab Dada's love, remembrances, good night, and namaste. Blessing. May you be an elevated server who attains success in service by carrying it out as an instrument. By being an instrument, you automatically attain success in service. If there isn't the consciousness of being an instrument, there is no success. To be an elevated server means to place every footstep in the Father's footsteps. Every step is according to the elevated directions which make you elevated. The more the wastage in service and in the self is finished, the more powerful you become, and a powerful soul attains success at every step. An elevated server is one who constantly maintains zeal and enthusiasm and puts enthusiasm into others. Slogan, offer yourself for godly service and you will continue to receive thanks and blessings. Om Shanti.